The Contraction Stress Test, or CST, is a form of antenatal surveillance used to evaluate the fetus's ability to tolerate labor. It helps determine whether the placenta is providing enough oxygen to the baby during uterine contractions, which mimic the stress of labor. The goal of CST is to detect fetal hypoxia that may occur during contractions. If a fetus shows late decelerations in response to contractions, it suggests the baby may not tolerate labor well. This test helps guide decision-making about labor induction or the need for cesarean delivery. The test begins by recording a baseline fetal heart rate. Contractions are then induced either through nipple stimulation or low-dose oxytocin infusion. The fetal heart rate is monitored for 10 to 20 minutes to observe how it reacts to at least three contractions in a 10-minute window. A negative CST means there are no late decelerations in response to contractions. This is reassuring. A positive CST means late decelerations occur with 50% or more of contractions, indicating possible fetal compromise. An equivocal result shows intermittent D-cells and may require follow-up with further testing like a biophysical profile. CST is typically used when a non-stress test is non-reactive or when there's concern for uteroplacental insufficiency, such as in post-term pregnancies, diabetes, hypertension, or IUGR. It gives additional insight into fetal well-being before labor begins. CST is not recommended for patients with conditions like placenta previa, prior uterine surgery, or preterm labor risk, because inducing contractions could pose a danger. It's also not routinely used due to time and risk factors, often replaced by safer options like BPP. Like and subscribe to RN Toolkit for more nursing videos.